Going up next Looking for that very bad bad girl I've been looking for her Not ready yet we go make me come to time Before night comes Nothing, nothing, nothing Okay guys, I'm, I'm feeling this song Now the, the interesting thing about this guy is that he's faceless <laughs> His name is Banzwe, okay I just added this song to my playlist and it's a very nice song A very talented, I'm not a talented musician If you want to listen to the full song, check out the link in the description and follow this guy on Instagram I should have his Instagram handle here and if you also want to check him out on YouTube I have the link in the description this guy is absolutely talented i didn't just listen to this song i listened to other songs that he has you know uploaded online and yeah he, he really tried so you can check out the links to listen to other songs and also this particular song naughty the song is titled naughty okay team crown i i love you guys so much you guys know that i, I love you guys so much man let us let us get right into the news Going up next, looking for that very bad bad girl. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I've been looking for that. That very girl will go make me come to time before night comes. Let us start off by talking about Ayefele. People have been protesting, everyone have been shouting you know, that Ayefele's building, you know, music building was demolished. Some people said he's a generous guy, and apart from that, he's confined to a wheelchair. That why would they or your state government do that to him? You know mixed reactions online ifl's music and radio station building fresh fm worth over 800 million naira oh boy maybe small more new <laughs> it was demolished and um the video circulated everywhere almost everyone blasting the government for their heartless decision and which government are we talking about here we're talking about or just state government the building has not only provide jobs to nigerians i was like why would you you know demolish a building that have been serving the people <laughs> it is also a plus to or your state citizens as it provides information job opportunities to these people and jobs to some of them that were jobless before the radio station was built my question is who masterminded this <laughs> Seriously, who masterminded this? Was this decision politically influenced or it was Ayefele's enemies in the government who wished to frustrate him using their positions? Did Ayefele violate any law by erecting the building at that location? To make matters worse, there was even a video of Oyo State Governor speaking in Yoruba that immediately he was elected Governor of Oyo State, several people approached him pressuring him to demolish the building because Ayefele isn't part of their team okay he isn't part of the party that Ayefele shits them in some of his songs but he personally refused um well not until when the news broke that the building has been demolished <laughs> Brother, <laughs> Now, Ayefele reacted to this. He said it was masterminded by the Commissioner for Information, Mr. Toye Aru Logun. The construction of the building did not contravene any building law because it had the necessary approvals from relevant government agencies. Ayefele said that they know that it is the commissioner that was misinforming the governor which led to the demolition. This is confusing because if that building doesn't contravene any law, why would anyone even suggested they wicked him by destroying that building. If he didn't contravene any law, 
why would they want to wicked him by demolishing the building because it's not part of the party i don't <laughs> i don't get it because they know if aifele should sue them i mean if he finally wins the case in court they'll pay him more than that well, almost times two of the money he lost so aifele in in his statement continued saying that music house complex is responsible for three accidents that occurred on the road in the last nine months is just an attempt by the commissioner to run away from his shadow how can a reasonable person say that it is not news that the governor of the state himself said some politicians came to him to demolish the music house complex because Ayifele is not in their camp and he also sang against them. We have the governor on tape so the commissioner should look for another excuse. We know it is the commissioner that is misinforming the governor who we hold in very high esteem. The, commission, the commissioner has tried the, in the past to influence a change in our program saying some of our analysts should be replaced. Music House has been in existence for almost 10 years and we have all necessary documents backing the building from relevant government agencies. Some questions we need to ask the commissioner are why is the government collecting tenement rate from us when they know we contravene building plan law? Why did the government approve the building plan when they know it will contravene the state housing law? Okay, they said the matter is still in court and if the case is still in court, why proceed to demolition the building? Another thing that got me confused was that a government that have openly said that he's been approached by some politicians that the building should be destroyed is now the one responsible for the demolition. Why did he decide to change his mind now? Was it because of political interest or the building truly contravened the building plan law? Um, the commissioner for information denied the allegation. Okay, he reacted to that and he denied the allegation in a telephone chat with Premium Times. He said, the question is, can I influence the decision of the executive? that of government agencies and that of the state government as a whole. Although there were rumors that Aifele is not telling the truth about the situation according to one online user, Scotty2910, he says, um, the most annoying thing to me is that Aifele did not mention it to all of us that he was served demand notice on June 2017 and four other notices followed till August 2018. He refused to respond or adhere to the directive of Oyo State Government and as we all know, if a property owner refuses to respond to government demand notices, then government will have to take actions. However, Fresh FM continues broadcasting despite demolition. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Now, moving on to the next news, here we have J1. J1 was present on Wazobia Max with Nedu. You guys know the Nedu, the comedian, the Instagram comedian, where they both shared their experiences as, as an actor. Of course, we all know J1 as a singer, but he's kind of into acting now. During the interview, Nedu, the popular comedian, like I said, an actor, revealed that he was called recently to star in a movie. And guess how much they wanted to pay Nedu? <laughs> okay, they wanted to pay him 20,000 naira. <laughs> That's not coming for set one, they said they will give me 20k. <laughs> now recently, 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 no kidding. They said they will give me 20k and I don't want to abuse the person, but I'm like, no. Uh, I don't tell her to say, okay, uh, call me back or rather let me send you a number. I got one of my number. No, no, all... no, no, the way we say, just say, uh, can I call back? No, 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 no. Or can I, I check my schedule? No, 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 even though both J1 and Nidu agreed that sometimes you could get big check um, from a particular movie, but they said it is very rare. Um, speaking about music, J1 was asked that which of his album is best seller or 
single okay and he said that this year you guys remember this year that song this year this year this year i do it released under Kenny's music he continued by saying that in the history of Kenny's music he is not sure there's any song under the record label that fetches them millions every year to date although he states the fact that he also gets his own cut which one don't sell the most either album or single this year this year because you don't understand sometimes when I I think I don't think in the history of Kenny's music, Kenny's music has ever produced a song that is everlasting. That is made, not even about being evergreen. That is make that keeps them, that gives them that money every year. I've left Kenny's music about five years ago. But this year, still give them money. I we still count millions every year. Wow. Like not like small money, you know. Which you know, he bad as he bad as they collect my check every year. Inside, uh, and when you say like you know, you're not sure in the history of Kenny's music, you're not sure there's a song that fetches them millions every year. And I'm thinking, what about African Queen? I mean, African Queen was one of the biggest back then, and every year African Queen is either the song used in a movie, it was a hit back then, winning awards, um, also international recognition, not just for Two Face for Kenny's music as well. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Here we have Whiskey. I think Whiskey has like issues, okay? He's not happy with Disturbing London. I get to know Disturbing London through Whiskey. You know, he would have his bio then that, you know, Disturbing London. Whiskey has broken ties with them. He's no more working with them again. Um, it's a UK management company. Um, they also manage artists like Tiny Temper. You guys know Tiny Temper in uh, the UK artist and also a Nigerian. Um, this company handles events it all started in june with the fight and everything but recently um whiskey called out this company tweeted saying nah f disturbing london and do me never talking about that them criminals so everyone on social media were just saying if whiskey declared you a criminal then you are a criminal I i'm like come on man it's whiskey <laughs> what are you what are you trying to is whiskey god <laughs> Well, I'm just kidding anyways, um, but that's what people are saying. A lot is going on in the background that we don't know, so I wouldn't even say much about that. Now we have um, another one here, Wizkid posted on Twitter saying, 40k came to see the kids tonight, big vibe. So we got booked to shut it down again tomorrow. So Wizkid got booked again in Kotoni, he performed the first day and he got booked again the next day day he wasn't supposed to perform the next day but because of the crowd and everything they had to book him for the next day so whiskey shout out to whiskey he's making his millions oh this one is not even on the low key <laughs> it's not even on the, on the high key millions of dollars at that okay congratulations to becca i think last week i said that becca will be getting married very soon and i got the information from a reliable source in ghana and it seems like my source in Ghana is kind of stronger. So Becca married the singer Becca, okay, the female singer Becca got married to a Nigerian, a Yoruba at that. So congratulations to Becca once again. Becca is 34 years old. I don't know the guy's age, but that's Toby is Ice Prince's former manager. <laughs> Give me good loving like that You know I love you right back I go an extra mile oh. Keep my king all on my heart I know we shout I know what shout do We have Tonto DK in the news today Tonto DK <laughs> teaches our child Or our son <laughs> How to speak in tongues I mean, why would you even teach anyone how to speak in tongues? In the name of Jesus! Amen! Amen! 
According to some Christians, it is said that Holy Ghost will fall upon you and you just start speaking, you know, unknowingly because it is the Holy Spirit in you. But these days, um, people say it and yeah, they still justify the fact that, you know, it's okay like to, to, to say it any way you like. I, I don't really know much about that, but here Tonto DK is trying to teach his son how to speak in tongue. Is this not going too far? <laughs> I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. It's about religious matter, so I I don't really I can't go deep because I'm not a pastor or anything. But I just think that using religion to draw attention for publicity stunt is just going too far, you know. But it's done to DK. Everybody knows. Let me know what you think about the song in the comment section, okay? Banzui, um naughty let me know what you think about this particular song in the comment section hi guys there's a song that's been driving me crazy it's been driving me naughty and guess what the title of the song is called naughty by Banzui. watch me get naughty <laughs> Naughty, 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 I like it, we go suck it and suck it and suck it, make me in your life, love, 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 love. I swear to God, I will make you fine, treat you alright, girl. Even in my crib, you can have it, girl. 